Your MSR Tire Tour sanding plate reciprocation machine will come partially assembled with the base and a bag of parts. The base comes with the clamps pre-installed. If however you receive a unit without the clamps pre-installed, simply use four of the M3 by 10 millimeter socket head cap screws to secure the plates to the base. The plates should have the texture on the top side and the step facing the machine. The bag of parts also contains the mostly assembled motor gantry, two sanding plate ball hitches, one spare M3 by 10 socket head cap, cap screw, two M3 by 6 millimeter socket head cap screws, one is spare, one you use to secure the gantry to the base plate, and a spare rotating arm and spare M1.6 by 6 millimeter socket head cap screw. You will need a 2.5 millimeter hex driver to secure the gantry to the base plate as well as to tighten the screws on the clamps to secure the machine to your MSR tire chewer. You will also need a 1.5 millimeter hex driver if you ever need to change out the rotating arm or the motor. To complete the assembly of the reciprocating machine, take one of the M3 by 6 millimeter socket head cap screws and drive it up through the bottom of the base and into the bottom of the gantry. The motor gantry goes into the base like so, with the textured side facing your tire truing machine. The next step is to secure one of the ball hitches to the end of your sanding plate. Try to get the ball hitch as centered as possible on the end of the plate, both horizontally and vertically, and make sure that it is fully secured to the plate so that it can't come off. You can use shoe goo or contact cement or strong double stick tape, uh, as long as the ball hitch cannot easily come away from the sanding plate. The final step before installing the sanding plate reciprocation machine to your MSR tire truer is to move this foot away from the edges. Most of the feet are very, very close to the edge of the base plate of the machine, uh, but in order to provide enough room for the reciprocator to clamp on, you need to carefully peel this foot away from the, from the base, move it in about a quarter, quarter inch from both edges, and stick it back down. Once you've moved the foot from this corner further in to the base plate, you can put your reciprocating machine over the front edge Make sure you're pressing it in towards the uh, tire truing machine while you secure all four clamping screws with your M, uh, sorry, 2.5 millimeter uh, hex driver. Make sure you only go f uh, finger tight or hand tight. Don't over tighten these screws or you will strip the plastic. Once the reciprocator is secured to the base plate of the tire truer and your ball hitch is secured to your sanding plate, you can pop them together and then connect your power to your reciprocator motor. Some people choose to use a polarity switch and a um, potentiometer of some sort so they control the speed of the reciprocator separately, or you can connect it directly to the same power that supplies the truing machine. Either way works fine. If you find that the reciprocator doesn't work very well, try changing the polarity of the gear motor so that it rotates in the opposite direction. Most of the time you want it to operate uh, so that the gear motor, the, the rotating arm is going clockwise when you look down on it. That way if you ever disconnect the sanding plate and the, and the reciprocator is going, the pushing arm will stay over here and out of the way. Whereas if it's going counterclockwise, the pushing arm might jam against some of the edges. If you have any problems at all, please contact me directly as soon as possible so that we can address those. That's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you enjoy your MSR Tire Truer sanding plate reciprocation machine. If you have access to a 3D printer, you can print your own and make your own machine. Just check the description below for the link to the files to download and make your own.